This is a follow-up video where a scammer uploaded a virus to my PC and I do a little more digging to see who that was. In part 1, and the link is below, I observed a scammer uploading a virus to my desktop. The person who called me identified himself as Ricky and his company was called Micro PC Support Limited. Ricky also provided a bank account number which was in Edinburgh in the UK. After I had recorded part 1, I phoned this company back in order to ask them why they uploaded this virus. I spoke to a person called Raj Naik and he claimed to be Ricky's manager. Because Ricky is not a technician. He is basically into customer services and he will say right. things to you that he's asked to say. You know, he's not somebody very technical or who would, who would even know about net stuff. Or he would put virus, he wouldn't even know about the virus. So Raj claims that Ricky is just customer support and the second connection that I notice is the actual technician. And although Raj mentions that he has offshore operations, he singularly refuses to identify who uploaded that virus. And they purposely did put that file on your computer so that they can locate your real location. Because as per them, you were not in the UK, you were somewhere in the US. So because of my accent, and because I used the name Orson Cart, Raj says that they were suspicious and they uploaded a virus just so that they could locate me. They had days to think up these excuses and personally I don't buy them. If they really didn't think I was who I claimed to be, all they needed to do was hang up the phone. Instead, after I uploaded part 1, they complained to YouTube and raised a defamation complaint. Defamation is defined as content which damages the reputation of a person or a business and in general is any untrue statement that is harmful to someone's reputation. The end result of this complaint is that YouTube are legally obliged to not make my video available in the UK and instead you see a picture like this if you try to access the URL of the video. And this isn't the first time that that company have abused the defamation route. In March 2016, another YouTuber, IT Advocate, and the link is in the description below, also recorded some fraud which was attributed to the same company. He also phoned the number he saw on a fake pop-up, and the scammer identified himself as also being with Micro PC Support UK. Once again, YouTube were obliged to remove his video, and it still cannot be seen within the UK. When I quizzed Raj about why his company would phone me back after I called the number on a pop-up, he claimed that it could have been a competitor setting up his company. And although I had evidence that the emails and the website are located in India, he still would not explain why that was the case. And the company information is in a real mess. There is also another company called Micro PC Support Limited, but with a hyphen between the P and the C. And the people listed here are the current domain registrars of micropcsupport.org, where the current micropcsupport.com website now repoints. But most bizarrely of all, the company claim that their address is in Tankerland Road in Glasgow. This means that they're using Micro PC Support Limited with this company number, and the current officers are Peter Church and Jagrat Gupta. I got in touch with Peter Church to make him aware of what I'd recorded in the last week, and this was Peter's reaction. Right, and... Yeah, so somebody's uh, masquerading as one of our employees. Right, that's what I kind of thought. Okay. In that case, um, that's fine. If, if Jagrat hopefully has my details in, I'll, I'll chat to him. Uh, but what, what I will, will do, though, is I'm going to go to Action Fraud in the UK, Okay. And I'll just make them aware that there are people then in person who are saying that they're from your company, but in all likelihood, they're, they're nothing to do with it then. It's really yeah. only yourself and Jagrat from what you've said, yeah? Yeah. So in a bit of a twist, the people who are using the micro PC support name have nothing to do with the actual company they're supposed to be involved with. Which raises the question, who exactly has raised a defamation complaint against my earlier video? When I looked at what YouTube required to make a defamation complaint, you need to have your full legal name, but you don't have to specify this name or your email address to the person who created the video. So the odds are stacked entirely in favour of the person making the complaint, even if they've got nothing to do with the company they're claiming to represent. 
So who exactly is Raj Naik, the guy who said he would raise the defamation request? Every time I spoke to Raj, it was as a result of a callback after I had phoned the main micro PC support number. Hello. Oh, hi. This is Raj calling you from micro PC. How can I help? During the course of our conversations, I pushed Raj a number of times for the address of his company. You know, do you <sighs> think that people who order uh, stuff from us, they don't get our address, they don't get the invoice? Well, I was very interested in exactly which address they did use for the invoice. All I had from them was an email from Ricky asking for a payment request. It wasn't a proper invoice. But that's where my keylogger came in handy. Whenever Ricky was originally connected to my PC, I noticed he was cutting and pasting things and some information was appearing in the clipboard. I have access to the clipboard because he was connected to my virtual PC. I always keep a keylogger running because scammers typically syskey people so I can register their password or quite often their payment gateways are protected with some sort of password. But what I recorded seemed to be the details of two of their existing customers. I only called one of them, the first one called Julian. I explained to Julian exactly where I got his details from and he agreed to help me with some of the previous emails that he'd got. Julian showed me a recent invoice from Data Telecom Southern. This is just an older company name and I got in touch with the current managing director of Data Telecom Southern and it's a guy called Jason Bassett. Jason confirmed that they had worked with micro PC support for a short time but that they no longer had any sort of business relationship. He wasn't surprised that some of his customers knew the company as Data Telecom Southern but that they shouldn't be using the micro PC 0800 number with his company address these days. Just like Peter, Jason had never heard the name of Raj Nike before either. I've asked YouTube's legal people to review the footage that I've uploaded and to ask them specifically who has raised the complaint against that video. More than likely, even this part two will not be available in the UK for the same reason. But I don't intend to let scammers win and I'll keep fighting this one. So if you want to support me, I'm on Twitter at jimbrowning11 and I also have a Patreon account which is linked to below. Thank you very much for watching.